in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed is someone praying father thank you Parus kalabra has kede balako jade ba subre etiash mento sala janas kobra akata balando zade ba hashade brats lift your voice make sure you are praying let it be from the depth of your heart Kapaus kalabra debe de balato shetebas, embretos kete balusha da bratus kalibra dash, parada baroto sodo brate kete kete balada bosh. Thank you, Jesus, for January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November now december thank you you have done all things well are there grateful people in this place jesus we bless you for your mercy for your grace for your goodness thank you Hallelujah. Father, we are gathered tonight to say thank you. We are gathered tonight to declare that we love you. We are gathered tonight to enthrone Jesus. For the things you have done, for the battles you have won, only you are worthy of our praise. We magnify your name. For the things you have done. For the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of our praise. We magnify time everyone for the things you have done for the battles you have won only you are worthy of our praise we magnify your name Jesus we declare that you are greatly to be praised we do not take for granted your mercy, your grace. We do not take for granted the testimonies, the transformation, salvation, revival. We do not take for granted your walkings in and through our lives this year. And Father, we have come as people deeply grateful. We honor you. We recognize your grace and your mercy and your majesty. Let the name of the Lord be glorified from the rising of the sun even to the going down of the same we declare let the nations praise you and we join the people so god to praise you and to declare that forever you are god you have done all things well and to jesus be all the praise amen and amen please walk to two or three people celebrate them from the depth of your heart tell them something nice Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Mena yi da kasoni aka. Mena yi. Are they grateful people? Mena yi da kasoni aka. Abne ya fi godia. Tada. Um, Psalm 50 verse 5 the last function before we get to the word tonight the Bible says gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice now it's a culture in this ministry that um, at the closing of the meeting we provide an opportunity and we challenge people um, to sow with understanding into the ministry. Uh, there's always an end of year sacrifice, not necessarily today, all through within the time of the break, as God would lay it in the hands of people. We believe in giving, but we believe in giving that is done from a standpoint of love, non-manipulative giving. And... Um, the Bible allows believers to be part of kingdom advance. And so this is, is very, very important. Um, so we'll give this opportunity again, um, not necessarily today, but all through within the time of the break into January. It's our culture as a ministry. We call on all who have been blessed and um, lifted and changed, transformed through this ministry to be part of this as God grants them the grace. Um, all sacrifices and all seeds um, will be collected in our central account. There's no proxy, there's no giving to people. I'm saying this in advance because usually when announcements are made like this, you will have all these funny people begin to arise. Um, the accounts should be displayed and will be displayed. And you can have it down and as God grants you the grace, you can sit as a family, as individuals, and trust God to just minister to you what you will give. Now, this is very important. Please listen very carefully. Um, the end of year sacrifice seeks to do three things. Number one, it is, it is your expression of thanksgiving. It's a sacrifice of thanksgiving in recognition um, of all the things that God has done in our lives. God has been merciful. Many of us have received all kinds of breakthroughs. And so we come with that seed of sacrifice. Number two, um, it is part of your commitment towards kingdom advance. I believe that believers have a responsibility to stand to see that the purposes of God be advanced. There is no magic about what happens to the resources that believers give. It adds to the overall resources that are used for kingdom advance. And so it's always an opportunity for believers to sow knowing that for every soul that is saved, life transformed, and every contribution towards kingdom advance, it is recognized in heaven. Number three, it is a prophetic connection um, as a way of communicating your expectations to God. I believe that with all my heart. When you connect with understanding, you release your faith, believing God for that which you would do. Uh, let me tell you something. I have discovered that believers are not greedy, globally speaking. I used to think believers are greedy, but I don't believe that anymore. The problem usually 
is the integrity with the management of the resources of the kingdom. When people sow seeds, when they commit resources, and you know, people divert seeds that are meant for kingdom activities into personal, um, you know, personal gains and all of that, this is usually where people are discouraged to give and all of that. But I believe that people always give and will give when it is number one non-manipulative non-manipulative giving from the standpoint of manipulation i tell you is a waste of time because there is no reward for you praise the lord giving under threat to give otherwise this it's it's not it's not manip it's a manipulative kind of giving there's no blessing the bible says if there be first a willing heart a willing mind are we together so it is important by god's grace where people of integrity, uh, even as a ministry, all of the blessings of God you see upon my life and upon our lives have come as products of a thorough understanding of the systems, the financial systems of the kingdom, alongside the grace to appropriate the keys that should be to make for the blessings of the Lord upon our lives. You can prosper with the dignity of kingdom integrity and um, and with honor and this is what you see if there is anything at all that looks like the blessing of god upon our lives it is credited to the intelligence of the ways of god that makes for that possibility praise the lord hallelujah so please um we're challenging and calling on everyone businesses individuals our friends partners sons daughters ministries um, all around the world who follow us sincerely as the Lord grants you grace um, do well to support do well to give please understand that what you are doing is not a donation what you are doing is a connection with understanding um, you donate to a social welfare platform this is a spiritual platform that brings real results when the principles are engaged with understanding are we together praise the lord let's pray in advance for this end of year sacrifice lord we thank you it's an honor and a privilege to give it's an honor and a privilege to sow and we stand in agreement with the millions around the world who have been blessed lifted touched transformed saved healed in and through this ministry and lord we thank you for the opportunity you are providing for us to be part of kingdom advanced we are grateful for the participation of the saints and lord we pray that you who is the supervisor of your laws may you bless and reach everyone according to their needs in the name of jesus every seed that is sown in honor to this um this announcement i pray that it will return to the givers a thousandfold in the name of jesus May the Lord bless everyone who is a faithful giver. May the Lord bless everyone who is a participant and a partner with what God is doing. And may we all go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Are you ready for the word? Just a brief admonishment. Acts chapter 2. Well, thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 2. we we'll start from verse 36 the lord put this in my heart and tonight's teaching will really really bless you it's an admonishment but it will bless us acts chapter 2 from verse 36 this this is this is apostle peter um at the upper room now this is the first official salvation message after the holy ghost came therefore let all the house of israel please follow carefully know assuredly that god hath made the same jesus whom ye have crucified both lord and christ 37 now when they heard this they were pricked in their heart and said unto peter and the rest of the apostles men and brethren what shall we do Peter is responding now, 38. Then Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 
39 is where my message is coming from for the promise let's read together for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off even as many as the lord our god shall call one more time uh-huh even as the lord this is a very interesting scripture because this is the first salvation message and peter is letting the body of believers then and prophetically everyone know that the promises of god this included is not for certain individuals he says the promise is unto you number two unto your children number three unto all those who are far off was talking about the gentile nation now then he says as many as our lord shall call very powerful very very powerful revelation the promise is for all not for few the promise not for men of god the promise not for americans not for british people not for africans this is a powerful revelation because until we understand that in christ there is a central platform that allows all and sundry access to the possibilities of the kingdom are we together now the proposition that makes it look as though there are individuals who have been isolated from the experience of the kingdom is a very dangerous communication the promise please keep that scripture for us is first for you everybody says for me then for your children and then to all that are far off even as many as the lord will call second scripture acts chapter 10 please we'll start from verse 34 to 35 i'm establishing first and foremost the centrality and the neutrality of god's operation when it has to do with the saints that there is an equal platform for the saints to be able to partake of the reality of the life and the power of the christ regardless of background regardless of sentiments that when we come to christ there is a level playing ground that allows any believer who is interested to be the partaker of the reality of the experience of the kingdom acts chapter 10 we we'll start from verse 34 now peter this was after the holy ghost fell upon the gentile nation are we still together say amen, amen. then peter opened his mouth and said of a truth i perceive that god is what no respecter of persons in other words there is no favoritism as it were with him next verse but in every nation africa hear this in every nation including africa in every nation including nigeria he that feareth him and walketh righteousness is accepted with him that means that every possibility in the kingdom is for the taking of all please understand this that in the economy of god there is no default preferences that attempts to victimize any individual not on spiritual grounds not on grounds of career not on grounds of maybe wealth and all of that there is no such thing with god the reality of the christ life puts a neutral ground for anyone to be able to become everything destined by god this is a revelation as we end the year it's 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 a reminder for some and it's a revelation for others two more scriptures romans chapter 10 and verse 12 romans chapter 10 and verse 12 the bible says apostle paul now is teaching for there is no difference between the jew and the greek for the same lord everyone please read with me the same lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him the same lord rich unto an american 
like he is unto an African, reach unto the south as he is unto the north, as he is unto the east. Are we together now? I'm establishing the fact that everyone's destiny, please listen to me, in Christ, everyone's destiny in Christ depends on their knowing God and they are activating the truths of the kingdom. There is nobody who excels by default. There is nobody who succeeds by default. When it has to do with dealings, the dealings of men with God, there is a level praying ground for everyone. The last scripture, Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. You know, we come from all kinds of families and some of us have been indoctrinated by our sociological contexts into believing that we are disadvantaged. Listen to me very carefully. You may never understand how destructive that understanding is. That you sustain a thinking that there are people who never believe God can speak to them directly. There are people who never believe that they can know God on their own. There are people who never believe that they can experience the power of God and the grace of God. There are people who never believe they can prosper in this life. No. We have all kinds of subliminal communications that have come from our backgrounds that continue to plant dangerous perspectives. I've done a lot of teachings on mindsets and strongholds, and this is one of such teaching. He said, let us therefore come boldly. Everybody say boldly. boldly. Unto the throne of grace. Let us, not let some, everyone, come boldly to the throne of grace that we, as a corporate body, may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The throne of grace is accessible by everyone and anyone in Christ. In fact, including sinners. So the Bible says, let us all come to that throne of grace. Are you getting what I'm saying now? These four scriptures show us the centrality and the neutrality of God's dealings with men. In God's economy, there are no superiors to others by default. Follow me closely. There are no favorites as it were. The same Lord is rich unto all. The Bible talks in the book of Jude, I think, of what he called the common salvation. Common salvation. There's no special blood that speaks for Joshua Selman or speaks for the, the, uh, what the, the president of any nation. No, it is the same blood that was shed for everyone. Are we together now? Yes. There is no individual who can rise to the fullness of the potentials in Christ when you believe that there is a sense of inferiority in fact this is Kenyon's definition of righteousness he defines it as the ability to stand in the father's presence without a sense of guilt inferiority and then condemnation the key word there is inferiority that when i stand before god and you stand before god based on that which has been provided for by the christ we stand from the same platform please believe this now it is true that culturally speaking if you are born by a millionaire you are not necessarily the same sociologically speaking with someone who was born somewhere in the village are we together there is an economic advantage if you are born in a nation where the government for instance is more strategic in nation building you already have an environment there are nations today when you are born in you will only need a few visas for the rest of your life because of the advantage of that territory there are others when you are born in even your neighboring country you will need your passport stamps to just cross over because of the socio-economic disadvantage that comes with those territories are we together in Christ the same Lord is rich unto all so when I stand and I see God doing mighty things with Benny Hinn, when I stand and I see God doing mighty things with the millionaires and billionaires when I stand and I see God doing great things with men of God I am inspired but not inspired to the point where you now rate yourself as second class. 
Are you understanding what I'm saying? Listen to me. On every champion and every world changer has found a way of indoctrinating themselves, not arrogantly so, but truthfully so, into an understanding that I stand in a platform through Christ that opens me up to any advantage possible on earth. Do you know what it means to be a child of God? Being a child of God is the most superior most superior honor that any man can get on earth the second honor you can get on earth is to be the son of a monarch or to be a monarch the third will be to be an ambassador or a politician at the highest level there are, are cadres of honor the highest of them is to be called a child of god behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us in that we are called us you know we just say it carelessly i'm a child of god donald trump's son needs only few assignments in his life are we together now because a major part of it has been solved look at this our lovely children that we just dedicated the truth is that there are some struggles they will not have in their life again till jesus comes remember we are the bridge between the old and the new we have been that sacrifice that have you know labored for people i'm a child of god it's a powerful revelation the monarch of the universe is my father let that revelation touch you when you say god is my father many people are used to abusing the name god for some people god is a bottle of minerals for some people god is an idol with a stone so when you say god is my father it doesn't carry the weight i'm no longer slave to fear i am a child I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. So you may come from a background that has no advantage. It is true that your earthly father may not be able to help you. It is true that your heavenly, your earthly mother, or whatever it is, the disadvantage, but the consciousness that the monarch of the universe has decided to become my father and i am his child is a revelation that you must have it instantly gives you a sense of superiority not from a negative standpoint are you getting what i'm saying now yes but you move around knowing that the earth is your estate when I travel to any region, I expect the same thing to happen, regardless of location, because I am still within the domain of my father. Now, when you travel to other parts of the world, you will do left-hand driving, others right-hand driving. When you pass through other places in the world, because of the system of government, sociologically speaking, you are mandated to do certain things. But the awareness that the earth is the Lord's, that means in reality there is no disadvantage because wherever you are located and situated within this territory it is the domain of this monarch called god are we together now very powerful so the bible says that we come boldly this is the first thing i want to establish the promises of god not just the promise of the holy spirit the promises of god that are written in scripture the promises to prosper the promises to heal the promises to lift the promises to bless listen the promise of influence like god spoke to us genesis 17 and verse 6 i will make you exceeding fruitful he said and that kings will come out of your loins nations will come out of you it's not necessarily is it was to abraham but galatians 3 29 says if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs are according to the promise everybody is a spiritual jew in christ and that reality has brought us to a point where there is no disadvantage i pray that god will help you understand what i've said 
it is not our background no it is not our sociological context it is an understanding of the neutrality the centrality so understand this tonight even as we prepare to live and travel to different regions there is nobody called by God to a life of failure. Bishop Oyedeko said, every calling in Christ is a high calling. Everybody say a high calling. Yes. There are no low callings in Christ. Nobody is called to a life of failure, mediocrity, defeat. No. We are called to a life of excellence. We are called to a life of grace. We are called to a life of influence. We are called to a life where the Bible says that through the church, the manifold, many-sided wisdom of God will be displayed to principalities and powers. If you are with me, please say amen. Amen. Now, but strangely so, and I want to pay attention now, the Bible seemed to be very open about individuals that God decided to carve out a name for. And I want to show you the secrets so that we can tap into this grace and into this possibility. The first is in Genesis chapter 18 from verse 17 to 19. God seems to talk to Abraham in a strange way. And the Bible records that Abraham was called the friend of God. Not many people in life are ever called the friend of God. We're reading from verse 17 down to 19. This will bless you. Look at me. He says, and the Lord said, look up please. Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? 18. Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation and that and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him is a question 19 for i know him hmm. that he will command his children and his household after him and they shall keep the way of the lord to do justice and judgment that the lord may bring upon abraham that which he had spoken of him abraham the friend of god it is true that there is a central ground in dealing with God, but it seems as though certain individuals were able to route certain pathways with God that now began to create a bias in God's dealings with them to make God himself now start giving them names. The name son of God, child of God is a generic name for everybody. It defines the centrality of God's love. But that certain individuals went a step further with God and they started earning for themselves titles that represented special attentions. Titles that represented certain covenants. So from that neutral standpoint, you can start growing yourself into specific possibilities with God. Are you getting what I'm teaching tonight? So for Abraham, he became the friend of God. And John chapter 15, please. 15 and 16. Very powerful scripture. John 15. He said, you have not chosen me. Look up. But I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. He's talking about fruitfulness. And that your fruit should remain. And whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Next verse. He says, these things... No, no. Go to verse 16. Oh dear. Did I miss something? Yes, 15. Let's start from 15. 15 and then 16 and 17 henceforth that's what i'm looking for i call you not servants now it's not an insult to be called a servant of god a servant of god is not a slave a servant of god is one who has submitted himself to serve the purposes of god i know sometimes we say servant i'm not a servant if you mean that contrasting sonship you are right but you will understand as you grow with god that the hallmark of sonship is servanthood are we together so to be called a servant of god is not an insult we are bond servants paul uses the word bond slaves but not unto servitude in a negative way henceforth i call you not servants okay for the servant now look at this this is oh dear oh dear may god open our eyes to see in the name of jesus notice the proof 
proof of servant is ignorance of certain information knowledge he says for a servant knoweth not what the lord doeth he says but i have called you friends what is the advantage of friendship for all things that i have heard of my father i have made known to you the advantage of friendship with god is the privilege of access to spiritual knowledge you know you are a friend of God to the degree to which he bends over backwards to open you up to the mysteries of the kingdom, the truths of the kingdom. The Bible calls them the secret things of God. This one is not for everybody. Is God helping us tonight? Parus Calibra has Abraham, my friend, shall I hide this from him? shall i hide this from him a servant does not know he may obey religiously without knowing but a friend is privy to information god is about to do certain things and he said no abraham is my friend this is powerful so god calls abraham his friend so i can know that i am growing just from sonship into friendship by god by the depth to which his fortitude to share the secrets of the kingdom and you know that dominion in this kingdom is a function of the secrets of the kingdom that we access it's called the hidden wisdom of god by me kings reign and princes decree justice with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness they that love me and seek me early will find me Acts chapter 13 we're still building on this Acts chapter 13 from verse 21 to 23 another man carves out a title for himself although at a level plain ground we are all children of god or we are all creations of god we now see another man who went out of his way and afterwards peter is speaking now they desired a king and god gave unto them saul the son of kish a man of the tribe of benjamin by the space of 40 years next verse and when he had removed him he raised up unto them read with me david to be their king uh-huh to whom also he gave testimony stop who testified god god is about to give a testimony that i have found david the son of jesse help me a man after my own heart what qualifies him to be a man after my own heart his insistence to see that my will is always fulfilled now notice how these people end their titles most times we just know their titles but i'm showing you what they did how they went far when it has to do with the friend of god he's saying you have done something to me that forbids me from hiding things from you i give you access to knowledge as proof of friendship when it now has to do with a man after his heart he's saying i have discerned that this man will die doing my will and i have given him i've given him a title of a man after my own heart god is testifying not a prophet a man who pursues my heart not who pursues the throne don't forget the man is a king and yet god does not talk about his throne he will abandon his throne to seek the heart of god and god says this man is a man after my heart why because of his insistence to see that my will is being done next verse of this man's seed have God of this man's seed that God according to his promise raised up unto Israel a savior Jesus this is his reward for being a man after God's heart God insisted that your seed must participate in the lineage that will bring David was not the only man after the order of you know God and all of that but he is he is called the seed of David thou son of david not thou son of rahab not thou son of boaz not thou son of naomi they all played their roles but out of those people god selected one man to become to personify his passion towards a man are you learning something tonight 
a man after my heart a friend of God this is a very powerful revelation now let me share with you something very very powerful um, and, and, and this is where I think and I believe that many believers are not properly mentored and as we go on break it's important to remind and re-emphasize this that in the dealings of God man will always have a role to play in actualizing prophecy please listen carefully that the systems of God work twofold one the dimensions that are finished from God's standpoint and then number two through the experience of alignment and obedience we make manifest that which has been finished in our lives Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12 Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. It says, Wherefore, Paul is admonishing the church in Philippi. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Hear what he says. Walk out your own, not your neighbor, not your child not your wife not your husband work out your own salvation and give it a level of diligence with fear and trembling work out your own prosperity work out your own intimacy with the holy spirit work out your own ensure that you press into god so much that he's forced to find a name for you he calls abraham a friend of god he calls jacob the one he names it after a generation of intimacy and he's saying listen you have a responsibility to press until until you give him no rest the bible says until he establishes jerusalem there is a way you can wear god out if i can use that word through your passion and your intimacy Intimacy, he will brand his relationship with you and give it a name that defines his unique attention towards you. Work out your own salvation. You will read about prosperity and never enter into it. You will read about divine health and never enter into it. Now listen, because this is a serious problem with Africa. The awareness of things like the finished work of Christ, which is true, has, when not properly balanced, has provided a platform for a lot of irresponsibilities in believers. And the ability to sustain the fortitude to press as an act of faith it's not there so we have people who just sit down and want everybody pray for me be wealthy for me be prosperous for me and that fortitude that participatory effort is not there are we together now so many people want to know the Holy Spirit and they think the key to knowing the Holy Spirit is to receive an impartation from a man who knows the Holy Spirit. What you are going to receive from that impartation is a ladder, a ladder that you will climb. Hello? A ladder that you what? Climb. You will climb it through your prayer. You will climb it through your relationship. You will climb it through the sacrifice of the instructions God will give you. That is not for everybody, it's for only you. You are about to eat and God says, turn the plate upside down. You are fasting for one week. He said, God, is it for everybody? He said, no, it's for only you. He said, God, why me? I mean, scripture. He says, I thought you want a name. A name that defines the extent of my intimacy with you. This is the pathway that leads to such a possibility. Now, there are rewards when you contend that much. Because you will, I mean, in physically now, we have what we call regular treatment of guests, whether in hotels, airports, whatever. We have what is called priority treatment. Now, the Nigerian government does not allow favoritism. But the various sacrifices of people have forced to have a lounge, a business lounge, a general place where people sit down. All those things are not favoritism. They are a way of rewarding the contribution of those people to nation building. So in as much as there is a level playing ground, there is something you and God can do that makes it unfair fair for God to generalize his dealings with you that from that time is a covenant you create that makes it impossible for God to deal with you 
the way he deals with everyone this is true it's a very powerful mystery that i show you work out your own salvation thou shall remember the lord thy god it is he that gives you the power to get well a lot of believers start jumping in the name of jesus i will never be poor you are getting poor you are seeing it god is your poverty is a report card god is telling you you are missing something i will never be poor i'm not being sarcastic and you find out that a lot of people and then here and there we just browse through the laws okay what and what should i know okay tithing giving i should do business i should do this and then you just do one or two things and find out that nothing changes and at a point you just say kai this nigeria yourself man must work and you know all of this we find obvious excuses and then things never change but there are people who will will you will see them burn the candle in the days of my youth when the secrets of the lord was upon my tabernacle when his light shined upon my head there is a light that shines upon your head there is the one that shines upon your feet the one that shines upon your head gives you illumination it says there is a spirit in man if you only have the light that shines on your feet you will keep walking but let me tell you the truth you will need the one that grants you access to knowledge are, are you getting what i'm teaching you now yes hmm. work out your own salvation any ministry that grows is worked at you know a lot of people sometimes respectfully people see me and say wow apostle god is doing mighty things in your life and I say yes he is and I, I really thank him and they, ah you are anointed though and you know sometimes I'm tempted to say I, I hear you are carrying the anointing of the generals and I'm tempted to say are they my relatives how did that happen you see this, this is the question we need to ask God has favored you God has favored koinonia my brothers and my sisters behind everything that works is somebody working it working it with diligence working it with passion working it with zest behind every business that works it is favor every house is built by some man but God is still the builder it's a mystery this issue of being a worker this language work believers don't like it the men the moment you mention work people don't ah, why must i walk oh dear genesis chapter 2 after god creates man and woman he now comes to take clay god the creator who speaks and creates used his hand not his mouth alone when you read chapter 1 alone you are deceived because that's where he spoke and created it in the realm of the spirit you must go to chapter 2 and see god the walker not just god the speaker it takes more than speaking to build a destiny your hands must be soiled you will put your hands down and make it happen there are people around just looking for impartation looking for cheap prophecy and there is a place for those things but it is only activated whilst you walk whilst you walk hallelujah many people are going to remain poor it's not it's not a negative prophecy and my heart pains me while i say this many people are going to remain mediocre in their life many people may never sustain the level of influence and grace that it takes to birth the purposes of god generationally and it is not necessarily because god decided to use others it is your individual commitment elisha was never supposed to be a prophet elisha was a farmer but he followed Elijah and said I don't care what you are going to do with me oh I must carry so they were already sons of the prophet the next prophet should come out of them but someone said I need I, I, I can't die farming I started farming but I will follow you until something comes upon my life we define our realities by the unashamedness to pursue the keys of the kingdom until something comes from heaven to your life i will never be the same i've touched your grace my life will change i will never be the same i've touched your grace my life will change i will never be the same i've touched your grace my life I, I, Sit down. Walk out 
about your own finances with fear and trembling man of god sit down work out your ministry work out your sermons don't just wait for an impartation that will teach you verses open your bible mark them write them down when others are sleeping wake up there is the labor dimension of greatness no impartation will replace it you don't sit down and casually fast yourself the way you like into uncommon anointings you are joking you pray once in a while when you want one hour per year two hours per year no buy the books read your way to excellence use your diligence to create a space for yourself in destiny my life will change eh? my life must change my life will change eh? my life will change i will never be the same i've touched his grace my life must change i will never be the same my life will change my life will change my life must change Second Peter chapter 2. We we'll read from verse 4 down to 10. The verse of emphasis is verse 10. Please listen, my brothers and my sisters. This is a message to the body of Christ. We must be careful. We are missing a very major key. The dimension of spiritual diligence. It cannot be bought. There are certain wells you must dig by yourself. Africa likes prophecy. We like impartation. We like to receive. But there are wells that must be dug. There are, there are fountains that must be broken. It's a sacrifice. The price is death. Are we together? Go to verse 8. Go to verse 8. Second Peter 1. For if these things be in you. Look at this now. And abound. They make that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. 9. But he that lacked these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. 10. Wherefore the rather, he says, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and your election sure. It is true you are called, but prove it. It is true you are called, but give the level of diligence that makes your calling and your election sure it is true you are a prophet but prove it it is true you are an apostle but prove it it is true that god has raised you to be a voice but obtain grace to prove it give diligence 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 in prayer diligence in the study of the word diligence in the sacrifice of compliance listen let me tell you real success is not at a platter of gold at any level whether it is spiritual success whether it is financial success whether it is grace and influence it is a sacrifice of continual press as your insistence is what makes life open the gate for you is god speaking to us this is where men are separated from boys this is where what provides the disparity in ministry this is what provides the disparity in business this is what provides the disparity in the advantages that we command in our lives i've had the privilege and the opportunity to talk with a few very great people and i am amazed at the silent sacrifices of these things these people when you see a wealthy man all you see is the affluence and you see the money 
until you find out the sacrifices that go on when you see a man of god you may just see the miracles and the signs and the wonders until you see the sacrifices that go on when you see a great person even politicians it's amazing that those people don't sleep two o'clock three a.m they are organizing meetings there are men of god who organize vigils they sleep by five six and by eight they are awake to attend to programs whoever told you that this thing just comes easy is a sacrifice it says to be diligent someone will have to obtain that grace today wishing and hoping and believing that just laying on of hands and all of that people are lucky no there are many platforms of advantage like prophetic connections like all of these kinds of things but none of them will replace the track record of sustained diligence hallelujah diligence this is what i've learned in my life as i have studied different people in ministry and then other platforms of life i have tried to look for what is the 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 impediment what is the one factor that seems to cancel out every effort because people do things but i found out that most people are not diligent most people are hopeful most people are prayerful most people are very futuristic but the ability to stamp your feet and say i will walk this thing in the name of jesus until it works ministry must work doors must open by the price of diligence the labor dimension jesus said my father walked hitherto i walk my father walks and i walk to the point that even seated at the right hand of the father he's still engaged making intercession for the saints many african nations respectfully speaking we have missed on the price of diligence spiritual diligence socioeconomic diligence the diligence of mentorship the diligence of the sacrifice of breaking these grounds until the fountains open can i be honest with you and submit to you next year will come and go year after next will come and go another year will come and go a decade will come and go your lifetime will come and go until you draw yourself and say look i am ready to walk this thing thank god for prophetic words they are not a lie but they only work for those who walk prophetic word does not work for those who hear it works for those who walk diligent Is God speaking to us tonight? Now, let me share with you one key to add to your diligence or so, and then we'll just rush to pray. I have found out. Now, I don't claim to have known God for too long, but I have enjoyed a little bit of his presence. And let me tell you something I found out with God. The single look up the single most important factor that governs the dealing of god with a man is the state of your heart the purity and the truthfulness of the state of your heart is the master key to walking with god write it down There are many systems that continue to build men in the kingdom. But listen to me, my brothers and my sisters. There is nothing of God and of worth that will ever happen to a man, a people, a nation whose hearts are not pure towards God and whose hearts are not true towards God. The motivation and the motif of your heart vetoes your prayer life vetoes your fasting vetoes your obedience no matter what you do with god you are not ready to start with god until he is able to x-ray your heart the purity and the sincerity of your heart is the foundational platform of doing business with god you have to understand this 
There are many believers that ignore this and we do a lot of other things. We do business, we fast, we pray, we do ministry. But I have discovered in my work with God and from scripture that God is obsessed with knowing the truthfulness of the state of the heart of a man. And I've preached many messages along this line. Please get them and listen to them. See, the great in this kingdom are not necessarily the most diligent. The great in this kingdom are not necessarily as it were the closest people with God. But there is something I know about God. The purity of a man's heart is a force that magnetizes all of God to you. The state of your heart. Why do you want to prosper? Why do you want anointing? Why do you want to be a president? Why do you want to be a governor? Why do you want to be a man of God? Why do you want to be a business mogul? Do you know for many believers, this is where the real corruption lies. That the motive and the motivation intrinsically is not right. I know several men of God who will do anything within scripture to get power. They have the stamina to fast for as long. They have the stamina to pray. But the truth is that intrinsically, God has not found a space for himself in their motif. If there is one secret about my life, I tell you this, and I say it before God and I say it before you. If there is one secret, it is that if I prefer that I go to be with the Lord, if God cannot find a space for himself in my heart and in my motive. It's not just about anointing. Listen, it's not just about prosperity and influence. You know, many times when I travel and people are receiving me and the honor, the whole paraphernalia of honor and everything, and I see people admiring, and I just nod my head. I say, oh dear, oh dear. May God have mercy and grant us grace to reorient our understanding. Because this is some of these flamboyant things when we see we are, we are caught up and we go and say, no, me too. I must be rich. I must be blessed. And we start fasting. Already your motif has come sold everything and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men I will draw all men I want to marry why I want children why I want increase in ministry why listen it is not a difficult thing for God to step in and help men it is within God's power to lift men riches and honor come from him the influence and the power and the grace comes from him the problem is the state of our hearts the greatest prayer therefore is not even intercession for souls the greatest prayer is not binding witches and wizards the greatest prayer is not deliverance from enemies the greatest prayer is the prayer that turns your heart into a throne the throne where he can be seated the prayer that can turn your heart into a throne is a prayer god cannot ignore please koinonia listen to me these are my final words to us as we prepare to wrap up the year there are people who God loves them as savior to all but doing the business of destiny it has not started until that death happens so sometimes when people come and say apostle I want an impartation I want grace with all it's a privilege to be able to do the things that we do for the kingdom but I know that I'm wasting my time I've read books on wealth and prosperity. I've read books on church growth. I've read books on influence, territorial dominion. At a point in time, I had to appreciate the books, but I closed them. I said, Lord, there must be a secret. And that's when he told me that the price for all of me is all of you. The price for all of me is not all of your brain. The price for all of me is not all of your singing. The price for all of me is not all of your worship. The price for all of me is all of you. Is God speaking to us? All of you. All of you. All of you. Now, let me tell you this. It is not unusual for a generation to not believe you. So don't think it is strange. My loved ones don't believe me. You are not the first. It is all right. A generation does not believe me. Nothing is believable till the results speak. 
Please understand this. But that price of death continues to be. And you see, the thing with death is you don't die once. It's Jesus that died once. The saints die every day. Hello? Jesus died once and for all because of the character of what he was doing. The atonement. You are not dying to atone. You are dying to yield. You are dying to align. The death is part 24 hours. The moment today is gone, you start the death of tomorrow. The moment tomorrow is gone, you start the death. For every dimension of death, there is a corresponding glory. The day you are tired, God will not force you. But he will show you that don't then ask for this dimension of glory when you are not willing to continue. Yeshua HaMashiach Komi Nanakane Yeshua HaMashiach Komi Nanakane Komi Nanakane Ya Yesu Yeshua Hamashiach. One more time. find a dead vessel and you see the possibilities that can come out show me a man who has vowed to continue to die i show you a glory that excels show me a people that continue to die our generation does not like the language of death because every time we talk of death it spells inconvenience it spells discomfort it spells going out of it means that sometimes god will strip you of everything you it's a price for the glory no matter how much impartation is a price for the glory you are not just going to lay hands on the sick and say in Jesus name stand up I'm a member of koinonia you are right but let me tell you when it comes to the depth of the dealings of God generationally you will need to die generationally are you hearing what I'm saying now please listen very carefully there are people that God will give you instructions empty your account there are people God will tell you 80 percent of all your wealth for the next two years keep giving it you say Lord why he said because you said you want to be a kingdom financier because I said I thought I should have he says I want to give you a revelation of there is he that scattereth and yet increase it you are you know it as a memory verse but I'm leading you through a pathway that makes it an experience for you Lord, I want you to anoint me. Grant me the grace that speaks across territories. And he says, you really want that? Yes, God, let's go. And you start the journey. And for starters, he says, give everything you have in your life. He said, God, I didn't hear you well. Give everything you have. Your reputation, your wealth, your everything, your clothes, your honor, give it away. That is the price. It's what he told the rich man. He said, go and sell everything you have. Follow me. The man said, no, no, no. Jesus, this one is so much authentic spiritual power does not just come by impartation alone it comes by death it comes by death lord i'm trusting god for the grace for illumination revelation but your mind is full of many things you must die to give it space and when there is space then the oil can come and the seeing eye can be given to you please listen to what i'm telling you remember my message the same Lord is rich unto all, but by certain sacrifices, men have ascended this ladder and they have given, they have branded their dealings with God so that he has been forced through their sacrifices to no longer deal with them as he deals with men. This is the hand of God and this is the way he works. Scattered across the body of Christ, 
are different individuals, different territories who have ascended different dimensions of ladders in the spirit. And God has defined certain possibilities to them. There are churches and ministries when you enter there, you must prosper. Even before you finish learning all the laws, at least you will prosper to a point where you will be surprised. You will know that I have no part in this because you are now a partaker of a covenant. God has vowed a vow by the sacrifices of certain people. Please listen to me, brothers and sisters. When you walk with God at a general level, you will go to heaven, but you will not do much. These are not even the people Satan is looking for. Satan will come and pass you. You will call him, he will still leave you. He's looking for people. There are people he's looking for desperately. Where are these ones that want to die? Where are these ones whose life is no longer their own? Where are these people who want to experience the anointing in another dimension? Where are these ones who want the power and the grace of God? Where are these ones who want the influence of nations? There is nothing that can be done about a man who has chosen to die the last enemy to be destroyed is death and when a man has chosen to die it's over Boko Haram are a threat because of their willingness to die not to leave when you want to leave you are in trouble you are only free when you are ready to die I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. is a mystery. And the life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. That whatever it will cost me to die, I will die. Not for the sake of ministry. Not for the sake of money. Not for the sake of titles. That prayer to search my heart try my thoughts it's a powerful prayer it's a prayer you must pray for the rest of your life in this side of god's kingdom the heart that cries for all of god not more of god all of god not more of god all of god he will he will come more and more but the goal is for all of him to be transfused into you The secret to ministry is not invitations. The secret to ministry is not a crowd. It's not a church. It's not eloquence and oratory. The secret to ministry is not even the loyalty of men to serve you. The secret is death. Genuine, continual death. I died yesterday. You are joking. You die daily. I died last week. No, sir. You die daily. You are dying today. You will die next week. A time will come when you truly will not have any life on your own. These are the ones that step their feet upon the soil of nations. And like the waters, it will pass hither and thither. And you are wondering, are these men gods? They are men. But death translated them into another dimension. Please hear me, my brothers and my sisters, more than Bible study, more than mentorship, more than fasting, more than prayer, more than training your skills, the real secret is to die. 
after 30 years as Christ studies, I will still be preaching this thing I'm saying. If you don't die, you cannot live. The way to live is to die. To die to yourself. To die to your ego. To die to your desires. It's a journey. A journey that until the day you see his face, you don't stop. I die daily. It is the price for carrying the anointing. It is the price for carrying grace. You can die to a point where it does not make any difference whether God keeps his wealth in heaven or he keeps it in your account. You have so died is the same thing. Whether the money is in your account or is in heaven, in God's mind is the same. Because any day he makes a demand, it will go. A time will come where whether the anointing is in heaven or the anointing is on your life is the same because god has guaranteed that you will die seeing to it that his purposes be established this that i share with you is the price when this is settled then that's when every other thing makes sense your prayer life your fasting even your obedience to scripture believe me when i tell you all that is nonsense when you have not died is the reason why we will keep fasting we will keep praying we will keep quoting scripture you see someone's car you go and lie down on it and say oh god please open my door and you are right it should bless you but it will not bless you because you are speaking from a platform of a decadence of heart yes you are listen we give we give breaks in the ministry not just to allow us rest it's been a busy year for everyone but the goal is not just to rest and catch up we're giving you one month so that it will help you die well die enough to carry the glory of 2020 die enough to carry the power of 2020 die enough to carry the voice and the mantle of 2020 that lord i am dead but not dead enough to carry the next glory dead but not dead enough to carry the mantle the power dead but not dead enough to be trusted with kingdom influence at that point the one week now you are not going to go to god as a worker you are not going to god as apostle joshua selman you are not going to god as a leader you are going to God as one who is desirous of his use. And now you can have the time to lock yourself. You can have the time to stay with God and stay till you die. While your flesh cries, you say, God, don't pity it. Forget about the tears of my flesh. Keep the death going. Just keep the death going. The death, your ego, say, forget about my ego. Keep the death going. Ah, my money, forget about the money. Keep the death going. Show me that man and I show you a man to fear in this life. A man that has mastered death. I die daily, Paul said. So he got to a point where he could say for me, oh, I don't know whether it is to go or to stay. I have conquered the interface of these limitations. But for your sake, I will stay. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, you've heard me say it again. There are virgin dimensions in the spirit. Compared to where God is taking us, we are only starting. And we must trust God for grace to not be complacent. The secret is to turn to God and sit down and die. The applauds of men can deceive. Men can clap you and stop you from entering tomorrow. This one thing I do, the Bible says, forgetting the things that are behind. You must train yourself to forget. Both success and failure can do the same thing. It can kill you. So you lay it aside and say, Lord, what is the price for the next level? And he says, death. And he says, come. Like a doctor about to perform a surgery on a patient, let it go. Let the ministration of that death continue. And you are staying with God. It will tell you for the next three days, let no food enter your mouth. 
there is a surgery spiritually and even the slightest meal can interrupt it and he said lord ordinarily i will want to eat but for the joy that is before me let me endure the cross and even despise the shame and in the midst of that pain suddenly you will meet an anointing you will meet a grace and god will tell you this anointing is what i'm releasing on earth for the next 15 years that means whoever does not have this type of anointing cannot be featured in my program and now that you have died enough here you go pick it up and you pick it and like like the pages of a book another dimension of you is open and whilst you think you have exhausted you will see another dimension they go from strength to strength this is my message not just to go and celebrate Christmas and up and down not just to go gisting and wasting our time listen times with God are times of death now is not the time to go and be clapping for yourself in the secret place it's foolishness great men are great because they forget their crowns great men are great because they forget their trophies great men are great because they forget their achievements create an immunity in your room that does not hear let you hear the the clappings of men while they are clapping you are dying the clap increases you are still dying and the flesh tells you have you not attained enough and the spirit of god says you lie not for the mantle of a nation keep dying keep dying you will see the effulgence of the power of god in your life and men will look at you and say are you a human being or you are a spirit when you go back god will say can we continue you are back from the meeting you some of you will go home and god will give you instructions organize crusades organize little meetings and while you are doing all of those people will look at you and say at ah, this koinonia and while they are talking you want to come back to life and the spirit to say no not at this point keep dying the door to life is death the door to the throne is the cross the door to the cross then the grave you must die it is the one key i have learned in my life fear a man who dies don't fear a man who died now i beseech ye brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice unto god which is your reasonable act of worship there are times that god does not want songs no there are times that god does not want prayer there are times god does not even want dancing around there are times god does not want reading any bible there are times god just wants the sacrifice of death it will rise as an incense past the second heavens where demons are demons don't need your death they cannot do anything with your death it will pass them they can't cast it they can't kill it it passes straight to the throne and is received before the master and through that death the blood that comes from your death becomes your agreement the signature you sign with God for the next five years Lord I am still available lord don't replace me with a stone lord i am still there you have options but incorporate me in your program are you ready to pray Lord, make me blind to anything that can make me alive in myself. Whether it's pride, whether it is money, whether it is the flesh. Deaden my eyes, deaden my ears, deaden my senses to the impulses that can distract my process of death. Lift your voice and pray. Eleka paruze de la coshia da barras. Prateza lida 
Sila Kataria Toshia, Rakata Baruto Sopre de Rekesila. Lift your voice and pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Not Nigeria, not your family, not ministry. Pray for yourself, not your neighbor, not your brother, not your sister. Pray for yourself. Shalabarata Kateleba, Embrakate Baruto Soto Baladabash, Rakate Baruto Subariata. Lord, let me die the death that brings glory. Let me die the death that brings power. Deaden my eyes, deaden my ears to the impulses of distractions. Deaden my eyes, deaden my ears to the uploads of men. Deaden my eyes, deaden my ears to the flattery of men. The deception of success. Bring me to a point where I am focused in death. Dying daily, dying hourly. I give you a key one more time for those who did not hold it this year you should hold it before you go home that everything only makes sense when death is in place that everything only makes sense when the flesh dies that everything only makes sense die daily die daily die on monday die on tuesday die on wednesday die on thursday die on friday die on saturday die on tuesday it is not physical death it is death to the flesh stay on the journey obtain grace and stamina the stamina to continue the stamina to press until you press to strange dimensions of anointings strange dimensions of graces die until god swears a vow upon your life die until the character of the spirit is continually formed in you die until you are dead that all of you is replaced by all of him hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray a very serious prayer. Oh God, purge my motives. Listen, purge my motivation. Why do I do the things that I do? Why do I preach? Why do I want money? Why do I want a wife? Why do I want a husband? Why do I want children? Why do I want influence? Why do I want my voice to be heard generationally? What is the intrinsic motivation? We are about to pray and let the light of God, the double-edged sword, penetrate dividing the soul and spirit and let it discern the thoughts and the intents of your heart. Don't be ashamed what you find there. Don't be embarrassed by it. That's what his presence is for. That's what the sword is for. But lift your voice. Purge my motive. Purge my motivation. The psalmist said, search my heart. Try my thoughts. And see if there's any evil way in me. Then he says, lead me to the way everlasting. Koinonia, pray in this final service. Shila Baruto Sodabash, Eketa Baruto Soto Pradish, Randa Barantas Kabarusha Letos. Why do 
I want influence? Why do I want prosperity? Why do I want a voice? Why do I want the anointing? Why do I want the prophetic? Why do I want the healing grace? Why do I want access to the heart of a generation? Pray and cry before God. Pray. Break my pride. Pray. Break my ego. Pray. Break my reputation. Bring me to a point of nothingness where all is in my heart is a desire to see you glorified a desire to see your purpose is established is someone praying few minutes and we are done but pray the purity the purity of my motivation the purity of my motive the purity of my desire lift your voice and pray this is a process that makes you become a friend of God this is a process that makes you become an icon for a generation and die purify my motives purify my motivation if you find any motivation that is not the revelation of the Christ if you find any motivation that is not the enthroning of your purposes Lord I allow you to kill it pray that prayer let it die and die again and again Listen, hallelujah. We're rounding up, but listen, let me tell you this. Happy is a man. See, you see, Ba, outside of this journey, we are not worth much. We are very small. It is the excellency of this journey that makes you heavy. That's where the word glory comes from. Kabod, doxa, the weightiness of God upon a man. The mighty God upon a man doing wonders. The treasure that comes from heaven to turn a man around so that your life becomes an effulgence. Pages of wonders. Ever increasing wonders. We're going to pray the last point and we're done. Father, the next dimension of my life and my destiny, whatever price it would take to step into it, I obtain grace. The Bible says we should obtain grace. This grace is obtained. It is not assumed. It is obtained. Lift your voice and begin to pray. The next dimension. The next dimension of my prosperity. What is the price, so God? The next dimension of ministry, what is the prize? The next dimension of influence, you are praying now, preparing for 2020. Is someone praying? Thank God for the 2019. Thank God for that which was done. But Lord, I set my face like a fling. Is someone praying tonight? What is the price for the anointing of 2020? What is the price for the influence of 2020? What is the price for the impact of 2020? What is the price for the speed of 2020? What is the price for the relevance of 2020? What will it take to be featured in your program? No assumptions. No assumptions. I obtain grace. I obtain grace. I obtain grace to be featured in your program. Come 2020. I obtain grace to remain relevant 
in the scheme of things come 2020 i remain i obtain grace to remain your friend grace to remain a man after your heart grace to remain the voice please pray for yourself pray for your family pray for your church pray for your ministry pray for your business lord what will it take to remain what will it take to increase what will it take to advance what will it take Let me give us one more prayer point. The Lord is just ministering one more prayer point. We are going to pray. Holy Spirit. You see, the revelation of the Holy Spirit is a mighty secret. Many people know his power, but they do not know his presence. Many people know how to use the anointing that comes from the Holy Ghost to prophesy. To pray for the sick but the intimacy paul said the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the koinonia the fellowship the participation the sharing together please you have to use this break to know the holy spirit thank god for ministers who continue to pray and based on the assignment he has given in life and in death will continue to be faithful to it but you must trust god for intimacy holy spirit who are you you are not just a wind benny Hinn said you are his friend Catherine kuman said you are her friend i can't lie that you are my friend reveal yourself to me not for the sake of ministry not for the sake of prophecy 99% of our pursuit for the Holy Spirit is to get the gifts that come from him so that we will increase our sphere and then use it to be relevant nonsense you must shelve those things and say Holy Spirit show me who you are that Shekinah that presence that intimacy Jesus walked with you you turned him into a sign and a wonder spirit of the living god and for some of us we have to pray and say holy spirit from where i left off let continue the journey because it was not like this from where i left off let's continue the journey pick my hands again turn me into a sign and a wonder but much more than that turn me into a friend we are going to pray holy spirit manifest yourself reveal yourself to me lift your voice and pray Reveal yourself in the quietness of the night. Haven't purged my motif. Haven't purged my motivation. Help me seek you for who you are. Help me know you for who you are. Not for what you can do to my life. Not what you can bring to my table. My life never remained the same. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of liberty. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of healing. It's my night of deliverance. Is my night of breakthrough is my night of restoration let me talk about marriage a little because we are going to confront that thing this night there are many people if the power of God does not step into your life you will never marry I don't care what you rob foundation the next one after it whatever it is because the problem is not your physical appearance there are powers that tie men down. The Bible says he told, he said, what seest thou? Zechariah 1 verse 18. He said four horns. These horns have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Israel, 
against Jerusalem so that no man will lift up his head. He said, but I have sent carpenters. I have sent carpenters. We are going to pray. Let me preach to everyone here that marriage is the will of God. Are you hearing me? Marriage is what? Absolutely. The devil knows what marriage can do. If marriage did not affect Satan, he will not fight it. Are you getting my point? Sister, the devil knows why he's fighting to make sure your husband does not come. But this night, this night, the Bible says at a prophetic word, bones that never saw each other for a long time started relocating till they came. There is a husband for you. Don't let statistics deceive you. Whether it is 10 men, 10 women to one man, is none of your business. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says you shall not call what they call conspiracy, conspiracy. He said when men shall say there is a casting down, what is your testimony? There is a lifting up. Many ladies are afraid now to an extent that people are just becoming desperate. They say, do you know there are no husbands? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you there are no husbands? My God will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to address issues. It's a miracle service. It's not a healing service. Miracles are more than healing. There are many of us here, we are not sick. But our family needs divine intervention quick. Financially and otherwise. There are many of us, everybody in your family is a graduate, but nobody is working. Everywhere you go, they drive you. Some of us even went abroad. You went abroad, you came back, and you are looking as if you never went to school. That devil must bow this night. Hallelujah. And for those of us who have been told by the doctors that nothing can be done about your situation, I bring you good news. There is a way out. Soon answer, yes. One day I feed you, can soon I soon answer, yes. One day I feed you, can soon I soon answer, yes. One day I feed you, can soon I soon answer, yes. For some of us, it's academic bondage. People keep mocking you. They think you are lazy. You are reading all you can read. You are doing everything. But there are horns that have vowed that you will not arise. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are horns that, you are, that have vowed that as far as admission is concerned, you won't get it. Or as far as this is concerned, they mark scripts. When it's time to mark your own, they forget it. Come on now. Don't tell me that's a coincidence. When you know the realm of the spirit, you know things do not just happen. Hallelujah. A lecturer just looks at you and vows to punish you in that department. What did you do? I just hate you. What kind of, what kind of nonsense is that? That's a spirit speaking through that person. Hallelujah. And there are people here who have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. At least I know that I got two text messages by some people. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And he opened the womb of Rachel. God can open wombs. I don't care what they say is there. How many of you have seen a bulldozer trying to throw something down? Whatever stands it way, it clears it. Whether it's called fibroid, whether it clears it away. This is the God I serve. Hallelujah. Some of us have been giving all kinds of reports. And they've said you may never be able to have a child. Even if they remove your womb, you will give birth. Hallelujah. Mary said, be it unto me 
according to your word her stomach started growing be it unto me when Joseph saw her stomach growing he said I will divorce you I have no business with what is happening and the angel said what are you saying keep this woman for that which is in her how it entered the word of God it says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God shortly we will rise up and pray for five minutes and that prayer is aimed at steering anger in you to say Lord I'm not going to go back the same hallelujah you know many of us hear words like this but the impetus to make it our word that's what we lack so you can rejoice over other people hallelujah you must get angry and say Lord as you're visiting men this night I'm holding on to you like the woman with the issue of blood let people call me unclean no problem that's why I'm here are you getting my point you must get angry especially for those there are so many people you could not get seats you can't just be standing outside and then at the end of it you just go back and say I didn't get seat say Lord as a reward for this standing the devil must bow hallelujah Jesus wants his glory to be revealed and let me tell you something all things are possible say it after me all things are possible the Bible says Jesus healed them all he didn't say he healed some he didn't say he healed the, the ones that could be resolved then the ones that have gotten so bad he could not do anything the Bible says he healed them all that means he delivered them all hallelujah and some of us here are standing in for our family members you know that we care about family here we are convinced in this place that if your family does not experience what you call salvation your Christianity is not yet complete he said as for me and what he didn't say as for me and myself as for me and my house it's not enough for you to receive breakthrough when there are people in your house who have not experienced that they must be opened to this reality of the revelation of the power of God Isaiah 61 arise shine Isaiah 61 let's see what the spirit of the Lord came to do the glory of the Lord is risen upon me the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord the master the owner of the universe has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to do what bind up the brokenhearted he had sent me to proclaim what liberty that means those who have been tied by ancestral causes and yokes and they have said nobody will cross this boundary you are the one who will cross it for the first time and tell your family members the door has been opened everybody can now freely pass without bowing down to a dagon without bowing down to a deity there are some of us as you are sitting down right now our parents are putting pressure on us come home or come to the village let them go and bath you with whatever. Let me tell you, Africa has not forgotten where they are coming from. They are still practicing it. It's just that we are practicing part traditional religion and then on Sunday we are doing religious Christianity. Some people cannot just rise. It's called limitation. You know what limitation is? You don't remain there, you will move up. But it's like there is a mark that has been placed over your family. Nobody rises there. You see a man rising, doing well. He can get a job. One day, he will come back. Those deities are proving to you we are alive. But tonight, somebody, somebody will walk out and for the first time, you will break those barriers. And say people in my house just get children without getting married 
because of frustration when they are 55 years and no man is coming they say okay just get pregnant at least let's have children and you will say you are the one who will break that and you will usher in your children and everybody there are those who say they have vowed that your degree will remain a piece of paper you have gotten degree you have gotten masters but there is nothing around your life like that everywhere a man will vow a pastor and say bring me your cv when you are about to visit that man someone will come in your dream and now molest you you get up the next day to go and the man will say i cannot remember telling you this ah, yeah. there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army rising up men and women anointed to break every chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain break every chain break every chain there's some of us you are the first person in your family to enter university or even to complete it and the devil has vowed he said it has never happened and all hell is breaking loose they say frustrate her frustrate him frustrate them who are these horns who are these horns that fly above the lives of people to jeopardize their prophetic destiny Come on, pray. Pray. Tonight is a night of judgment. Tonight is a night of justice. Get angry. Tonight, I will break limits where my father did not enter. I will enter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everywhere pray inside and outside. Begin to pray. I break limits. Satan, enough is enough. Hey! Come on, get angry inside and outside for your destiny. Hey, Hallelujah. Look up. Please listen. 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 There are some of us, what is plaguing your family is the cause of hardship. Nobody ever finds anything easy in your family. You are born again, you pray in tongues. But until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you, you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering. Everybody must walk like an elephant for everything. Some of our parents are working three jobs, five jobs, just to be able to raise 10 or 20,000 naira. It's a cost. hallelujah hallelujah listen i beg you in the name of the lord please listen to me i beg you in the name of the lord i want you to get angry tonight one of the things that we must all break the lord was ministering this to me 
is this thing called limitation. Many of us don't know what limitation is. You know what limitation is? A mark has been drawn and they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up. There are some of us what must leave your family this night is the plague of death. Some after two, two years or three, three years or by September or a particular month, somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick. Patterns of wickedness. When these limitations are broken, let me tell you, you will find yourself finally. You will see that doors will now be open. And do you know what? Listen, every time you force a door to open in the spirit, you bring others into that experience. Listen, hear this. Do you know there are many of us here? Our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things. It's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. Many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets. They have collected their money, plundered them, did everything. Nothing to show for it. We hear the chains falling. Tonight, the waters will be stirred. And I tell you, when the waters is stirred, these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally financially academically if you have been carrying an inherited disease don't say it's like that in our family this night you must begin to contend i can't remain ss simply because everyone is like that i can't remain as because everybody is like that i can't have eye problem because everybody has it get angry bring them Bring them, bring them in. Sera na 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 mo so na na na. Sera ba la mere na na ba si na. So pa na 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 ba. Sera ma si ta na na. Se Maria na mo. Se na 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 mo. Se re 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 mo su na na. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power to heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake just those outside the power of God is falling I command devils come out come out come out I command powers demon spirits I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost outside the angels of God are moving everywhere outside the power of God is shaking every demonic hole acts of witchcraft yokes curses those outside lift your hands again lift your hands I just want you to focus on the screen those of you outside in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again no power will hide right now one two three go 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 hey! come out come out of them devils yokes bondages by the fire Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere. The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, Jesus. No instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. 
and the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Sheketekete, rekotopos, embrebekete, lekoto soparia. The fire of God is coming down right now, mightily. Shekete, mekoto sota, tekepriyas kaba, sombre tekete, sekete, bring them out. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Hallelujah. This role, lift your hands. The angel of the Lord is standing in this role. I pray right now, every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this row right now in the name of Jesus I want you to shout Jesus right now one to go let it be shaken oh God now 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 and the fire break chains I command every force of darkness go, go, go come out right now come out right now come out right now be exposed come out right now come out right now there are still many people outside please outside lift your hands no devil will escape tonight outside at the top of your voice after the count of three many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you my god let no spirit let no spirit remain right now one two three Shabbat <laughs> Shalom. 
All those that have come out, those in front here, as a point of contact to those who are there, by the blood I bring a separation. I bring a separation by the blood now. Now, now, now. I bring a separation by the blood. The mystery of 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 the blood. Bring the lady. Ara Sheruza Garota Hate, Apocrete Bocoto Payata, Pekete Bocaria Sakarota, Papata, Yaya Bacos, Parota, Pekete, Pedeboya, Yaya, 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 Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. But the light shines in the darkness. Let her go now. You know my voice. She out. Now, leave her. Out. Never return again. Now, all the devils here. At the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my so voice. Pa, I speak so to you from the realm of the spirit. So One, two. So go, 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 go. Out, 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 out. You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, go, go. Be free. I set you free. Out, 
Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out. 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 Marital delay. Give me your hands. With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Out of her. Now. Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. This serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Listen, some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay. It will die now. At once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Alright then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now I challenge you. Zedekete palakata prakoto soba. Nembrendi zilekata. Reto shikata garado sisa. Something will leave you right now. Lekota ba. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Shila. Go. Bo shipra kita kito da yada. Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibroid. I cause that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O oh God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. 
Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go together with the delay. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakata ya mandeka. Sete la mantaria. You can't move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place, at the count of three, I command the devils be gone right now. One, two, three, go. Go, 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 I cause delay, I cause delay, I cause delay, every kind of delay, every kind of delay, where is the woman I where is the woman I spoke about? One mama that was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is, this is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edo. Edo State? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now, hold on. Why are you? I want to, it's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when? find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that... That witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Madam, look at me. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, 
let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? Is you are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain. At, you used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do. Check. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They have been calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain. Why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything we touch with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some me church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money. I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. He was just saying different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the king. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into an university. Have you written jam? No, no. You are writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar. Bigger than any senate. You will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam. Whether for you or for your loved ones. I tell you the truth and I lie not. See, listen. Prophecy. Kaya, jaja. Reketera, mambre, tetekete, balakata, rotosepa. Every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names, receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Hey. Where, listen, whether you know what you are writing or not, may my God hold your hands. That oh. hand, that oh. hand, oh. that oh. hand, oh. that oh. hand, oh. that oh. If I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Zego paradia sacranda baliketi subalutikada. Likoto pradia saganda ria tagadabaya. Parada shi ala grundi siza la paradiata. Zego shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me now. Shila. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit by the power of the blood. Go now. Don't waste our time here. Now. Thank you, Jesus.
be thou enthroned on high and throne on high and throne oh, help me worship us be thou enthroned going to visit the issue of marriage right now please i want you to listen i'm just flowing as the holy ghost is giving me grace sister look at me just look at my eyes you must release her right now it's time for you to go out you go now in the name of the lord jesus christ I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name In the name that is above all names, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please get said, something mighty will happen in this place now. Every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim, right now, as you shout, Jesus, they will depart from you now. One, two, go. Every marital delay. Go, 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 go. Let marriage, spirit, husband, out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. May your life partner come into your life. I prophesy. I call forth your life partner. Supernatural marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lady has been healed of chest condition outside. Check yourself and run out here. Check. It looks like ulcer. You just feel something leave you. Please check and run quickly. Quickly. 
Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check, check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has killed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? Another one? Come. Come. You've been healed. When God speaks to one, he speaks to many. Look at just one prophetic word. Give them the mic. Is it working? What happened to you? Just tell us quickly. Okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. You felt something leave you. Yeah. Do what you couldn't do before. I felt pain in my chest. Completely. Hold my hands. Never returns. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go forever. Come, what happened to you now? I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How not, long? For I've how been long? I've drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs is even, in, is even in my bag right now. The drugs is, go and bring yes. it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names. Hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. Ulcers. Ulcers are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will when hold you try me. to breathe, it will hold it you. It will hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over. But I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check. And when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me. And now I'm healed. Breathe. Do breathe in. Deep. Any pain? No, any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six months. Six months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, pain. breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again in the name of Jesus Christ. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the pain started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we're outside and we shouted, Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That so wicked said, thing that has sat there, it must pack his load and leave this night. I felt. Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. when I pray for you check yourself and if you see a miracle run out here even if you see that it has started please don't tell lies we are not playing gimmicks here some of you think it's an eye problem but it's a demonic thing I'm about to command it to leave you thank you Jesus even itching in the eyes will leave thank you Jesus now I command Eyes be healed. Be healed now. Be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. 
partial blindness be gone in the name of Jesus long sightedness short sightedness glaucoma every eye condition be healed now please be checking yourselves check yourselves God is doing miracles now check yourself if you have any growth in your body please check yourself as you see God touching you come out you I tell you God is healing people if there is any growth in any part of your body what's wrong with him I problem bring him God is healing people look at look at a miracle look at a big miracle look at look at this look at this look at what is happening to these people look at eyes are opening come on give Jesus praise eyes are opening receive your miracle receive your miracle every kind of eye condition hallelujah we we'll take the testimony check yourself don't let the devil stop you what's his, what's the problem with him look at this he can. Eh? praise the lord no 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 no. there's no time for that what is wrong with him this i can see completely yes who brought him here we came together with him. mama okay i'm going to pray for him as i pray for him keep testing him when he can see you just try him out the lord will heal him lay your hands on your no no let, let him lay his hands on you lay your hands by yourself on your eyes i command new eyes by the power of the christ how long has this been does she speak english one year two months yeah. What happened to him? Uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he couldn't cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus healed his eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus bow to the name of Jesus I command his eyes to open right now open right now please check him test him See, test him test him just test him if you've seen anything can you say don't be afraid this is a factory just test him sister stand up what is it eh? you saw light what are you seeing oh my god look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged huh can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light. I saw and it went you saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up, all right? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again? Yes, a sharp light. You've been using glasses? I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now. Roommate, when we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? Huh? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in you my eyes. A sharp and I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until is, you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. You were 
healed. Who brought this boy? Okay. Father. How are you? Father. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay, what happened to you? As Please make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside, okay. something entered me. So as, as I fell down and I'm coming, now I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought, eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Ah. Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. <laughs> you mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? He's, he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Mm. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to itch you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? To the shame of the devil. Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. Praise God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over when there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I... And it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this. I don't know. Every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me and today like yeah or today i was in class and my i was were reading my friend was not asking me what's wrong with me i'm reading the word i'm mixing the word i like it started since this year and she's like okay i need glasses i'm like i don't need glasses oh when you are reading yes the, you will be skipping yes, the words I'll, either skip the word, I'll go blank and i don't know why what happened to you now when we we're praying i laid my hands on my and my hands on my eye and then a light just just hit me and my hands touched Light me. again. You see and the light? My eyes got very hot. And then Your I eyes got open. hot. Yes. And you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51. Just verse 1 and 2. Let's and see. Came to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hanged, and to the whole of the Pit, whence ye are digged, look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and, blessed him, and, I and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. Okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's, I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your eyes. So when I went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly pterygium. That is, I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is some, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and what got happened right now? So what but happened? while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah may be perfected in the name of jesus christ i pray sweetheart how are you what's your name Mercy. we have brilliant children in koinonia thank you jesus for giving us smart children you came on your own my sister brought oh your sister brought you what was wrong with you my eyes to your eye used to eat you is he eating you now what happened when, when i was praying i put my eyes you played your hand on your eyes uh-huh I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. 
Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, my eyes sometimes used to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother, we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But m since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eye will, will be itching me. I was okay. like, start, start feeling sleepy. Mm. But now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria, please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly, please. Help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourselves. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting My with this sickness. Hide me from the rain. Say, my God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. My God is. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is i want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you jesus Lord, I give you praise. It's my name of Jesus Christ.
accident look at, at me at since when i think a week ago now you, you can't walk the the nurse bandaged my leg so then what happened i started i couldn't walk very well again so i removed the bandage why did you remove the bandage because pulse was going out pulse was going out of the leg yes where is it ah oh, goodness look at this look at me brother yes, sir. look at me He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. It's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. 
Look at everybody is seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fix this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't. Don't. Just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what. Hold on. See the guy. What is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying you up. are feeling it now. Yes. Everybody, clear the way for him. Rush. Go and come back. Walk. Go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy. Could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with him. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise. For that which you are doing in our midst this leg dries up in the name of jesus christ my god is awesome he can move mountains Phew. keep me in the
injection it spoiled the leg which of them the right you've never been able to use it no except with age except with an age try to move it just where is which one which of them try to move it yeah? just do what i'm telling you to do try to stamp it Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy, be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Please 
pass the request quickly. Just leave her. Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole world. The the you world. are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for Please bring the request. You quickly, are quickly. the joy of the That's whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please usher us quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, right? You are quickly. the joy of the whole world. attending to those outside those outside please let's have their request i hope there's a way of getting the ones on fa on facebook and all of that if we can't we can just reach out to them by faith please make sure that you have a prayer request god answers prayers here yeah. Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every Miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues 
while the worship team leads us in worship just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues is that okay please go ahead shekata ba 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 you do wonders in me shekata ba 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 kata ba Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, hands, o God. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverances, O God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Saraprake Jalima Zatala Broke Jilibana Zataya, Rika Lujari Krasatata Pata Shitaba, a God of all flesh, Jarapakata Shilia. Lazare Kapatasha, we declare Lazata Patasha, the one that parted the Red Sea, Rakapata Shitalaba, Ribe Zuri Branine Koto Shitalaba. Do the impossible right now. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. You break upon the rings and you part it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare. That with this request, so oh God, let, the, let there be possibility right now. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. Miracles. Open doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on her chest. Out now. release her and go now hallelujah 
and he said to me prophesy and I prophesied as I was commanded not as I wanted I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound a rattling sound and bones began to be joined to bones and he said unto me son of man prophesy to the four winds and I prophesied O wind breathe upon the slain and the wind came and breathed upon the slain and there stood an exceeding great army I want to prophesy over your life I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice please believe it prophecy is creative hallelujah please play strings thank you father because you always hear me when I call Lord as I prophesy over your people let it not be a ritual I pray nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen therefore I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers may they back this word and bring it to pass let this word become your word oh God in the name of Jesus Christ let this word become your word oh God in the name of Jesus Christ let this word become your word oh God hallelujah and Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said blessed be Abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and the prophet said in Samaria by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow the Bible says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper by a prophet he brought them out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward do the impossible do the impossible I'm not singing just concentrate my God would you step in And do the impossible, do the impossible, change the unchangeable, change the unchangeable, my God, stay. Do the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names, the name that causes demons to tremble, the name that causes breakthrough and deliverance I command right now let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost restoration now restoration now restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost receive restoration everything you have lost for whatever reason it was lost I command restoration of opportunities in the name of Jesus restoration of destiny help us restoration 
of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now 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 in the book of job he says in six things will he deliver you yea in seven things and one of them is the scourging tongues of men when men sit down and make enchantment in the name of the God that I serve every cause every pronouncement over your life because now because now because now because now for he has broken the gates of brass and he has cut the irons in sunder my God I pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names if God be in this place I command those two leaf gates be open now be open now I prophesy be open now by the power of prophecy be open now everyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above every other name satele kabande kretisa kad ashatete balakata pregede balada bagada baga is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they brought Mephibosheth a man who was not qualified but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David I pray by the favor of God wherever you need favor for jobs i prophesy receive it now receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west i command jobs every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward may his prophecy come to pass in the name of jesus christ I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names 
we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the Lord come alive now dead relationships come alive now I pray for your academics for he has given me the tongue of the learned that I may know how to speak the word in due season to him that is weary he said my tongue is the pen of the right the ready writer my heart has indicted a good matter yea I speak of excellent things Daniel was made ten times better he said I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say that when you stand before them you shall not think of what to say for in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking I pray everyone called doll I change that testimony now everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of Jesus and everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of Jesus Christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted I speak to every job here receive increase I speak to every business here grow I command you to grow I speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of Jesus Christ let the favor of God that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers I prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of Jesus May that favor hit you where you are. May that favor change you. May it cause men to bless you. Hallelujah. And I pray, may the presence of God go with you. Everywhere you go, everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of God, pornography, masturbation, whatever it is, it ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ it ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ it ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ every dead spiritual life every dead prayer life every dead word study life in the name that is above all names come alive now receive the fire for prayer take it take it take it take it take it take it the fire for prayer take it the spirit of prayer and supplication take it let it come upon you 
like a tornado in the name of Jesus grace to pray grace to study grace to understand hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise I pray the Bible says the gift of a man makes room I pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried I prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head when i cry Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 Thank you for lifting my head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying i'm tired of my life i'm tired of living my life the way i want i need to surrender my life to a god that is higher and greater than me some of you have probably given your heart to the lord please listen but tonight jesus is calling you may have a christian name that's not the same as salvation you may even be a pastor that's not the same as salvation tonight the lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely i'm going to make an altar call just one to five i want you to run from outside from inside please run like your life depends on it you are saying lord i am tired take it take it it is yours and I'm giving it back to you. I am tired of living life my own way. I have done my best. I relinquish that whole one. Please rush quickly. Celebrate them as they come. Two. Uh -huh. Just come and as you stand here, just begin to pray. And say, Lord, take over. Take over. That's the song. God bless you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender everything. I've been living my life the way I want. But tonight, I mean business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family members stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friend stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus take everything take over everything i'm tired of living my life my own way I give to you with holding nothing with holding nothing hallelujah i salute every one of you for coming don't make this an emotional decision mean it from the depths of your heart no matter what you have done wrong no matter how you've lived your life I want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from Emmanuel's veins. 
and that fountain flows to bless you it flows to wash you it flows to cleanse you lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart please you're not reciting a poem this is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight hallelujah say after me Lord Jesus I come before you unable to help myself I ask you to help me cleanse me wash me with your precious blood I truly repent of my sins in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today no backsliding some of you as you are praying this I tell you the power of the devil will be broken all of the chains you're going to say Satan I denounce you right now take your hands and live my life I declare that I'm saved I'm a child of God the Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life from today I'm sold out and totally surrendered now keep your hands lifted father bless these ones you have brought them use them mightily let the power of sin be broken in their lives let the power of the grave be broken let the power of the flesh be broken anoint them and use them mightily oh god let this not be a, an emotional decision let this be a genuine decision in the name of jesus make mighty men out of them in the name of jesus christ congratulations i want you to look at me I congratulate you for this great decision everyone here made this decision at one point now I'd like you to just follow our ushers there's a wonderful sister waving her hand I want you to just follow them they'll have they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow God bless you please follow them follow them very quickly please. all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time here at koinonia we love you please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing god bless you if this is your first time wherever you are just run and come there is a special blessing for you don't wait for your neighbor you are the first person koinonia is this the best you can do for them thank you thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you we thank you coming don't stop we have a prayer for you and we have a blessing and all those who took the pain to invite anybody here may God invite all the blessings you need in your life I'm very serious I'm not just saying it if anyone came here as a result of your invitation I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus name thank you for coming this is koinonia we love you we bless you i believe you are blessed tonight you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ prophesy upon their lives koinonia bless them we speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life we bless you with the blessings of the house we bless you with prosperity we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding we bless you with grace we bless you with the power of the holy spirit May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Please, you follow the ushers. They will have your details. They will welcome you more on our behalf. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you for coming. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that.
that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.